contested under elimination rules. It is for the Southern States Pro Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> Introducing the first, being accompanied by 3MP, representing the route, K. Ching! <laughs> Being accompanied by a gym. Being accompanied by the wayward son, Jaden Vane! And their opponents. He is the Southern States Pro Heavyweight Champion, the Infinity Stone of the Hierarchy. This is the King Way. Truth, Major. For the first time in its short history, the Southern States Pro Heavyweight Championship is being defended in the city of Atlanta. The new champion, the Kenway, in his first defense in this three-way dance against KJ Impala and Alexander Lev on the outside. And Atlanta bringing that main event energy only the way that Southern States Pro can. You see the fans gathered around the ring, getting an up close and personal look here for this championship match. As you mentioned, Rob, three-way dance rules. Eliminations will apply. And at the end of the night, only one can walk away with that Southern States Pro Heavyweight Championship. KJ and Paula already proven to be worse for wear in this match. His hand was injured after that brutal beatdown from the hierarchy just a few days ago at Steady Hand Brewing. Full-time Frankie Filto not able to compete whatsoever tonight due to suffering a, a foot and ankle injury on that same evening as KJ reverses the Irish whip and dives Ooh. in with the clothesline to Alexander Lev. And this is a match dangerous enough entering in fully healthy, but when you enter in at less than 100%, your head has to be on a swivel because of things like that. The Kenway coming in from behind. And Carmen, something that I would like to point out as you talk about that dangerous stipulation that a three-way dance is with these elimination rules, having to keep your head on a swivel. All throughout the year of 2023, the Kenway was on a roll unlike anything that anyone in Southern States Pro had ever seen, remained undefeated for the majority of that year until the Kenway, as he hooks the leg now to retain the championship, but KJ out at two, until the Kenway was the second elimination in a three-way dance against Bryce Cannon after Duncan Avasia had previously been in, been eliminated in that same match. So Kenway has fallen victim to the three-way dance stipulation before. Will it be the same story here this evening, or will he be able to retain his newly won SSP Heavyweight Championship? Kenway, no stranger to him. It's the same song and dance, but ultimately at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is walking away with that championship. The only objective, as we see Alexander Lev now Putting in a work to KJ Impala. The faithful one now in for the cover. Outside leg is hooked, but just a two. The SSP Championship 
created earlier this year following the Jimmy Rave Cup. The winner of that Jimmy Rave Cup, that being Danny Briggs, the former Martin Stone, becoming the inaugural Southern States Pro Champion, having to vacate that title just five short days ago, which led to the Kenway picking up the victory against Aaron Dallas earlier this week at Steady Hand Brewing. And Kenway can't get too comfortable here or else it'll be a short title reign. And KJ Impala is all kinds of fired up. The route have made their presence known here this evening. Dylan Lesson picking up a victory earlier tonight, calling out Murder One, but Murder One is nowhere to be seen. As the brawl makes its way to the outside, each of these men come into this match with their own motivations. Of course, the route looking for revenge over the hierarchy. You have Alexander Lev looking to bring championship gold back to the Donald Jakes Ministry, and of course, the Kenway looking to establish dominance as we see the hierarchy running rough shot over Southern States Pro. And Kenway now taking on both men on the outside. Eats a stiff forearm from KJ Impala. Kenway now turning the tides on KJ. Looking to send KJ head first into the chair, but reverses it. As if Kenway wasn't dangerous enough. When you have Kenway in a match like this where his back is backed into a corner, he's like a caged animal trying to fight his way out. And right now, if I'm these other two, I'm keeping my eyes in the back of my head, knowing the Kenway is lurking on the outside. Well, and this shows right here what the hierarchy believe in the Kenway. As you see Alexander Lev trying to gain advantage here on KJ and Paula. The Kenway did not come out here with a second. No Joe Black, no Chip Day, no Murder One. 3MP is, of course, out here with his route stablemate KJ and Paula. Jaden Vane out here on behalf of the Ministries with Alexander Lev. I think it just goes to show how confident the Kenway is in his own capabilities. As he has KJ Impala. You see Alexander Lev looks like gouging the eyes. You see KJ Impala trying to suplex Lev back into the ring, but Jaden Vane there to make sure it didn't happen. And 3MP giving chase to Vane. Vane stopping that momentum, pulling down Alexander Lev. We see Lev and 3MP getting to it on the outside. And speaking of the outside, the Kenway picking apart KJ Impala, now targeting the injured hand. Oh! A stomp right to the wrist. You see how heavily that hand is taped up. But unfortunately, Rob, as I know you've mentioned time and time again, when you tape yourself up like that, you're only putting a target on your injury, and now the Alexander Lev going after it again. Not only has that target been big enough after the hierarchy dismantled the route at Steady Hand this past Sunday, but now the target is that much bigger with Alexander Lev in the ring now going right to work, just as you said, Carmen. Slams the hand right down onto the mat. And just pulling back at those fingers. You can see KJ and Paula writhing oh. in pain. You hear Lev yelling, you will pay for your sins. And I'll tell you, KJ and Paula willing to pay whatever price it takes to walk out of here with the championship right now. Odds are not looking great. Working over the hand, over and over again, bending the fingers backward. Shots to the midsection of Alexander Lev. The crowd here trying to rally behind KJ Impala. Targeting the eyes. And here comes the Kenway for the first time in the last several minutes in this match, making his way back into the ring. An unspoken understanding there between Lev and Kenway. That glance shot from the Kenway, almost like, don't you even dare. And now it's right to the midsection of Lev. Looks to send the faithful one up and over. Eliminating Alexander Lev, if only momentarily. She sends him to the outside, and now it is the route versus the hierarchy. KJ versus the Kenway. Center of the ring, and so far the Kenway has the advantage. 
He's got a hold of that arm as he makes his way to the outside and drops the arm right across the ropes. Looking to hyper extend the arm over the steel cable. And now back into the ring. Penalty kick to the hand. As 3MP was checking on KJ Impala. Now Alexander Lev back in the ring, getting some revenge on the Kenway. Johnny, that's what makes these matches so dangerous. Like I said before, you have to keep your head on a swivel. If KJ Impala had glanced over, he would have seen the Kenway coming, but unfortunately was distracted. And we have yet to see an elimination here. All three men trading shots from a vertical position. Who will be the first to fall as KJ Impala has got right hands for everybody. Going to Warren and A or Lev rather targeting the hand again, pulling at the fingers. And look at this. The way he's torquing back, the way he's bending the fingers, not only hyperextending, but putting pressure on the wrist and the elbow alike. And now in comes the Kenway. Looking for a double team. Nowhere to go for KJ. And the fingers being locked up. That Boston Crab applied by the Kenway. KJ might not have any choice but to tap out, but you see him getting a hold of the eyes and the hair of Alexander Lev. KJ doing whatever he can to fight out, scratching and clawing. Manages to shift the momentum. Able to turn Kenway all the way over, creates a little bit of distance and nails Lev with a huge shot. And while his hand may be injured, those strong legs still being put to work. That left hand might be hurt, but he's still got rights for days. Laying in the back elbows to both of his opponents. KJ's got a lot of momentum. Let's see if he can capitalize as the straps come down. And catches both Lev and Kenway with the spear. Leg is hooked to Lev. But Lev kicks out just in the nick of time. There's a very real possibility there. If KJ was able to get his arms across both competitors, he may have been able to get a pinfall on one of them. While Lev may have been able to get the shoulder up, perhaps maybe Kenway wouldn't have. KJ's definitely thinking about that now. Went for the pin on Kenway after Lev kicked out. But that could have been a little bit too much time for Kenway to recover. The crowd here in Atlanta, Georgia, rallying to show their support for KJ Impala. Could this be the night that the round walks home with the SSP Championship? KJ Impala, one of the only people in this company who knows what it feels like to carry gold on his shoulder as a part of the former Dudes and Kimonas with his route stablemate, Frankie Filto, the second ever and longest reigning SSP Tag Team Champions. You still see KJ Impala paying homage to the Dudes and Kimonos. You see it on his gear. Now Kenway thinking something nasty. He has him up in powerbomb position. Perhaps an assist from Lev. Almost a doomsday device from Lev and Kenway. Legs are hooked to KJ, and KJ's out at two. KJ Impala showing what it takes to be a champion here tonight. But will it pay off in the end? Will he walk away with that gold? KJ Impala wants to become the first person in SSP history to have not only held the tag team titles, but also the heavyweight title as Lev. Quick roll up. Roll up to the champ, and Kenway out at two. On a moment's notice, anyone can be eliminated. You have to be fully aware of your surroundings at all times. As the Kenway now punishing Alexander Lev. Tucks a shot from Kenway. Lev roars through with one of his own, but eats the boot from KJ. Rebound into the powerball from KJ. KJ's got the champ rolled up. Leg is hooked, but Kenway kicking out at two. For a brief moment there, I thought our SSP champion was no more. 
just like that, we almost had another situation that we found ourselves just five short days ago where we would be guaranteed a brand new champion. This Atlanta crowd is fired up for KJ Impala. He's got the hand up. He's got the goozle on Kenway. You can feel the energy here. Building in the room, KJ Impala looking to pull off the upset. No. Both Kenway and Lev able to get out of it. Double team to KJ Impala. Cover made from Lev. Still only a two. Make no mistakes about it. If there's anyone qualified to hold that SSP championship, it is KJ Impala. And when I say an upset, don't, don't take it for granted. Speaking solely on the fact that he's entering this match with an injured hand. As you see, Alexander Lev wanted the faith breaker, but instead Mike gets the choke slam from KJ as Jaden Vane's up on the apron to make sure it doesn't happen. An uphill battle for KJ as Vane causing the distraction. Roll up to KJ. KJ Impala has been eliminated. Now down to two. It is just Alexander Lev and the Kenway. Will the Kenway retain his newly won Southern States Pro Heavyweight Championship or will SSP become faithful? Now in a normal triple threat situation right now, we would be looking at a new champion. Alexander Lev would be holding that gold high, celebrating tonight. But here at SSP, it's a three-way dance. Elimination rules. We're not going to let the championship change hand on a fluke. The Kenway wants to right that wrong from that incredible three-way dance battle last year where he lost the final fall to Bryce Cannon. He wants to make sure he does not make the same mistakes again tonight. You can sense the urgency growing here between both of these performers, both these athletes. Stiff shots from the Kenway. Lev drives him into the corner. Shots right to the jaw, stiff uppercuts. The faithful one dives in with another uppercut to Kenway. He's got Kenway rocked in the corner. Off the ropes. Nails him with the back elbow. Comes back in. Alexander Lev just on rails like a freight train trying to take out the Kenway. Lev doing everything he can to deplete the tank of the Kenway right now. Gets caught, and Kenway sends him back to the center of the ring. Hooks the legs, one, two, no. The freakish strength on display from the Kenway, but not enough, but quickly transitioning. Trying to get that Boston Crab, but sent through the ropes. Rebounds once again with a clothesline. Kenway going right to the right to left, but he had a long way to go. As you see, left now with that foot placed on the bottom rope by Jaden Vane, the wayward son. The Kenway with a quickness scurried over, trying to make the pinfall. He knew that that was an opportunity he could have put away the match. And if it wasn't for Jaden Vane, I do believe that would have been it. But even before then, Alexander Lev wisely not staying in place, starting to roll to the outside. Could not make it under the bottom rope, but got close enough for Jaden Vane to apply the assist. As now the Kenway begins to dismantle Alexander Lev. You could feel that urgency, and now Kenway has Lev right where he wants him. Looking to systematically pick him apart, and now to put the nail in the coffin. Wait a minute. The ego death right across the knee of Alexander Lev. Off the ropes, dives in with the clothesline, but gets caught up by Kenway, crucifix pin. Lev out at two. Quick shift of momentum there from Lev. He's staggering. Jaden Vane stopping the O'Connor roll. Holding on to the wrist by any means necessary. Rolls him 
Come up for the cover. Out at two, but lays out Jaden Vane. Stiff forearm shot there from the champ. Lev wants to capitalize. He wants to hook him for the faith breaker. Will this do it? Will we have a new champ? No, Kenway reverses. He's out. And the pile driver from the champ floats over for the cover. One, two, two three. Retain. Here is your winner. And still, Southern States Pro Champion, the Kenway. Wait, 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 wait. Dylan Lesson in the ring. Wait a minute. He's got a hold up. shovel. Hold up. Dylan Lesson from out of nowhere. Dylan Lesson has wanted the hierarchy all night and is finally getting his pound of flesh at the expense of the Kenway. Oh no. And here comes the Supreme Leader. The murder wanted Lesson fighting on the outside. Lesson has wanted to get hands on Murder One all night, and Murder One finally giving him what he wants. These two are gonna brawl all throughout the falling warehouse. Three MP coming in to try to break things up. He's got his hands on the feet of Murder One. Murder One's laid out three MP before. I'm sure he's thinking about doing it again. And he does! Green P gets sent into the ring by Murder One. What the hell does he have? Both Dylan Lesson and 3MP laid out on the inside. Is there nobody that can help? KJ Impala is in the back after that grueling three-way dance. Frankie Filto at home injured. Oh, but here comes, here comes Duncan Avasia. Avasia with a kendo stick. Murder one retreats, and here comes KJ. KJ wants a backup. 